Hey guys, welcome back to Web3 Money. We will be doing an NFT review specifically on Asterix NFT. Asterix NFTs, out of all the NFT projects that I actually reviewed, in terms of the art, in terms of the design and aesthetics, I think it's one of the coolest ones I've seen. They're recent, they're not They're not old, they're not a blue chip you know, NFT project. This is something that I just, it caught my eye because I thought it was really cool. Um, so this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing a overview of Asterix Labs and yep, you guys can find the full article on web3money.co. Anyways, let's get started. So Asterix Labs is a new digital ownership platform that launched in early 2024. It aims to set standards for the future of NFTs by leveraging the innovative ERC-404 token standard, also known as DN-404. I know that's technical. And they are technical, by the way, in their communication. If you look at Asterix Labs in their Twitter profile or in even their OpenSea profile, you will see that they have a very technical, it's like almost they're trying to speak to programmers in like this code language. Anyways, we're going to see that in just a bit. ERC-404 links, a fungible ERC-20 token with a non-fungible ERC-721 token, ensuring actions at, on one are reflected on the other. Asterix Labs offers the, AST, the Asterix token and corresponding Asterix NFTs. So there's two things in this ecosystem. So they are building not only an NFT project, they're building a whole ecosystem with along its uh, NFT project. So why don't we go ahead and actually check both on CoinMarketCap and also on OpenSea. So let's check first OpenSea because we're doing an NFC review. So this is the project uh, itself. You could see that it was actually minted four, four weeks ago. There's close to 8,000 items inside of this project minted on ethereum and there's a 2.5 percent creator fee personally i love this art i think this is one of the coolest art pieces or or projects that i have seen i like the i like the id uh, the persona type of this uh character whatever this is like a dark pikachu who's like a dark magician or whatever uh but maybe a ghost i don't know what it is but it definitely looks cool and i like the designs i like the elements inside of it uh from a pure artistic perspective, it's nice. Uh, the floor for the Asterix NFTs is 1.43 right now. Uh, there's been a lot of volumes over the past 24 hours, specifically 300. Uh, if you see just in the past, um, just in the past 30 days, ever since it minted, you can see that there's been a total of 718 sales ever since it came out about you know a month ago. Uh, so definitely check it out. Uh, you guys could go ahead and also check out their OpenSea you know page. Uh, but we're actually going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about the ASTX token. So Asterix Labs, uh, they released a token. Uh, it has a circling supply of 10,000 uh, ASTX coins. Market cap of 54,000. It's currently sitting at $5,000. If you guys are looking at the price and thinking like, oh, maybe it's too late, blah, 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 this and that. Don't necessarily say that because the market cap is sorry not 54 but it's 54 million uh it's offers sorry i didn't see that right anyways so 54 or 56 million is uh it's pretty significant it's underneath their 100 million i think we would still consider this like a micro cap you know coin uh but if for example this 10x and went to half a billion to 500 million then you could see you know also like a 10x here like fifty thousand dollars or whatever it is right um so yeah, this is a little bit about the project. We're not, we'll probably do another token review on this itself, but I guess we could also talk about it here. Uh, and yeah, let's go back to our page. So the key value proposition of Asterix NFTs is the ERC-404 standard they utilize. This allows for the NFT fractionalization and integration across the NFT and DeFi ecosystems. Asterix NFTs bridge the gap between the digital and physical worlds, allowing abstract ideas and concepts to have tangible commercial worth. The platform aims to democratize digital ownership and put bar power back in the hands of creators. So they have a very revolutionary, uh, very type of uh, uh, hit revolutionary, I guess, uh, uh, communication when it comes to uh, uh, their copy. And, and so, yeah, they want to go ahead and change things. And that's, that's great energy. And you could definitely tell that from their art. Uh, so details on the Asterix Labs are limited, like the team itself I'm talking about, and the provided search results. results. The project is powered by DN404, but no specific team members or backgrounds are mentioned. 
Uh, more transparency on the founding team and advisors could help build trust. So if you guys are watching this video or if you're maybe part of the founding team, please do let me know. This is a, a cool image that I saw inside of Twitter that I thought, you know, was pretty cool that, you know, everyone should really go ahead and like. Anyways, so in its short history, the Asterix tokens has seen a very bullish price action. We talked a lot about this, right? We saw how it gained momentum. In writing this article this morning, we could see that it jumped already by $1,000, which is insane. Uh, but just to summarize everything, Asterix Labs is an ambitious project pushing around the boundaries of digital ownership via ERC-404 NFTs. Imagine you have a standard ERC you know, tokens for DeFi, crypto, whatever it is, and you combine them with NFTs and you have that one single merged token. As always, you know, remain highly speculative and do your own research when you're looking into these very risky investments, especially when it just came out. I thought this was a cool project to talk about. Do check Asterix. Let's go ahead and check their Twitter. Actually, we could see. Just want to go ahead and show you. Asterix Labs. Unlocking new possibilities of digital ownership, defining the standards of the future. Message dot broadcast update partnerships. You see like when you look at the actual way they communicate, it's interesting, right? Override systems dot execute manual auto disengage, like very computer E, very engineer type of communication, right? It's not poetic, or maybe that is the poetry inside of the computer, right? Connection, unified identity, alignment, engulf, right? Like they're speaking in code, in code, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this Asterix review. Uh, please leave a comment below if you guys have any questions. Uh, check out the Asterix Labs Twitter. Uh, I started following them. I love their art. Shout out to you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys another time.